Saudi Arabia, biggest country in the Gulf. It's called the Empty Quarter because it contains quarter of the desert in the Gulf. Being out in Saudi, from the air, you can see just how big it is. The microlight flight was fantastic, stunning sunrise over the almost like monument valley, the west through the flat tops, the big cliffs and the desert beneath. Great fun. Back in the June buggies, what impressive bits of gear they are. Oh, so quick, ridiculous for such a small vehicle. It was when we were going round and round in that kind of sand bowl, it was just amazing looking at the other car that you were going round in, just spinning and spinning. Wow. Holy moly. <laughs> a lot of sand. A way to experience the desert, very different. So peaceful. It was the one thing that we've been trying to do is get the Cyberstar on a racetrack. Great fun to set up the Super Sport mode. Go through the race settings, it's 0 to 60, 0 to 100. I can't believe you got scared when I was going around the track, I was very much in control. I didn't trust you on the racetrack because you were driving. You didn't have to trust me, just trust the car. Go up the Al Faisa Tower to watch that sunset. Very iconic hole in the middle with all the CBD and the skyscrapers beyond it was an impressive sight to see. <laughs> Absolutely extraordinary museum with one family that have built up this huge collection of everything that was cultural and Arabic. Every single piece of golden, beautiful artifact from all over the Gulf. I thought the old town in Jeddah was beautiful. Saudi government have protected it, they're restoring it, and as we were walking through, you could see the super old building looked like 200 years ago. <laughs> I loved wearing the phobes that we wore, those very old traditional phobes. As soon as we walked out the door, everyone started getting their cameras out. Men, women, children, walking down the street and every single person just snapping away. Yeah, it's all hand-stitched, gold and silver um, thread. 